Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to get to visit with the head football coach for Olivet Nazarene, Coach Eric Heyman, on the summit as we're talking about the Victory Bowl. Coach, your team is 6-4, and 5-2 and two in the Mid-States Midwest Division. We're going to talk about the Victory Bowl as you all have already been determined to be a participant in this year's competition. But uh, after that then, you had a big game on Saturday, a 38-31 victory over a very tough Roosevelt team. Can you bring us in and talk about that win first? Oh, it's a great win for us. Um, they were ranked in the top 25. They've been high as high as I think in the close to the top 10, maybe, maybe right under that. And and uh, so they were the number one scoring offense and high. You know, they had a really good scoring defense as well. And so we really played a great game. It, it was a game that we put uh, put it together um, offensively and defensively. They are really balanced uh, and we were we were really balanced as well. And so um, just it was a great vibe. It was a uh, had a little flurries, you know. So it's kind of that <laughs> chill we've had. We've had uh, the mildest fall we've had as far as weather, and so we had a little bit of Midwest weather that game, and it was awesome. So we finished strong and really, really enjoyed how the guys played. Well, you're headed to the Victory Bowl. It's unlikely you'll get any flurries this weekend, but we'll see. You never, you just, you just never right. know. Uh, the Tigers are heading back to the Victory Bowl. You've been there twice, come away with wins, and both times in your tenure there, five wins for the program. Talk about what it means to to play in this bowl game, which is sponsored by the NCCAA. Yeah, I think it's just, to me, it's a great opportunity for us to be together a great uh, another week as a team. It's a great opportunity for us to uh, compete again, and uh, it's just, it's been enjoyable. We've, we've been to, I've been to a couple um, here, and, and just been really great experiences, been able to uh, see different parts of the country and uh, we, we our team loves to travel we, we love to hang out and make <laughs> memories together and we make it fun and and then we like to play good football and so we're playing a good football team and so we're, we're excited about the trip yes it should be a good matchup I, I like the way this looks on paper you all do bring a lot to the table I mean you're playing good football right now averaging 31.7 points per game led on your offense by Cameron Crouch, uh, 17 of 29, 280 yards passing in that win the other day. However, 1,866 yards passing for the season, 21 touchdowns to just six interceptions. He also has 323 yards rushing and seven more touchdowns. So total offense, he's he's been the total package. Brian Jenkins having a great season as well, nearly 900 yards receiving. And Evan Leak, just more than 900 yards rushing. So tell us about that offense and what the Tigers are going to uh, – what going to bring to the table? Well, I think I think we're a really good group. I think this group has been together for a while. Um, Cam has been a really good quarterback for us. He's a he's a dual threat guy. He's a he's a good runner, probably more in a Tebow style than than a, a Lamar Jackson style. But he, he's he's a big guy, and uh, but he can sling it. And uh, so he had a great game. Really had one of his best games last week, and so we really thought it came together for him. Um, you know, Brian is, he's an elite guy. I think he's going to potentially be an all American in, in, in the NAI. Um, he's lit led, he's in the top nation of yards per catch. He's a uh, top in our conference, which is a great conference and touchdowns receiving. And I know all the, the pros are coming to watch him and all the scouts for every team has watched him practice this year. So he, he's a, a really great player for us. And then Evan Leak is a really good running back. He's very elusive, and um, he really doesn't hardly get tackled by the first guy. And so he's a guy that you have to have more guys than one tackle him. And so also he's a dual threat running back. He can catch the ball. And had a, This last game had an amazing one-handed catch to, and then a stiff arm to get a, a really critical uh, first down in, in, the, in, the, in the fourth quarter. So, so he, he's a, a really good running back, all-around running back for us. We're speaking now with Coach Eric Heyman from Olivet Nazarene as the Tigers will be playing in the Victory Bowl coming up on Friday right here on Midwest Sportsnet. And we enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and, and beyond. So I encourage you, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that greatly. Coach, uh, the defensive side of the ball uh, led by a number of players, that includes Josh Miser, second on the team with 60 tackles. He also has six tackles for loss and four sacks too. And uh, Vison Valoria, the player of the week, defensive player of the week in the conference after his performance in last weekend's win against Roosevelt for the season, 37 tackles, three tackles for loss, a couple of interceptions, a couple of pass breakups too. 
Yeah, so, you know, Josh has been a really good staple for our defense. It's, it's kind of this defense is, you know, the, the offense has the, all these accolades and guys that are going to get probably really high honors in the all conference and maybe even higher than that. The defense is kind of this no name defense, which I don't, <laughs> I think anyone that knows defense, defense and coaches, they know that, you know, like the Miami defense and where you might not have all the all stars, but they play great as a unit. And so I think Josh is a part of that unit. Drew Hamp, who, who you didn't mention, is kind of the catalyst. He's a, fifth year guy, one of those COVID guys that got an extra year, Josh Anderson and, and Scott Leonard, our D linemen that have really just rallied and blue collar type guys and rallied the team and, and, and whether it be in the off season or during the game. And then Bison, Bison's a great story. He came out and hasn't really been a starter and then really kept, keeps working. He's a redshirt freshman and uh, just kept working. And then last week, man, he had the game of games, two picks and just was a really great run threat. So, uh, you know, on uh, played a forced forced defender on the run on the edge and then had two big picks. And so he really had a coming out party. So that was a awesome for Bison. That's really good for him too. And I'm sure for you, that's some momentum taking it into this, this bowl game and the opportunity right there. If you're going to get those picks, do it near the end of the year and, and uh, build on in toward the, the postseason. coach, you've been with the program for seven years now, six and four in 2022, 43 and 30 overall, your second in uh, team program history in wins as a head coach and also in winning percentage. Talk about your time with Olivet Nazarene. Well, I really enjoyed it. And so, uh, you know, it's I've, I've coached in this conference, which I think is one of the premier small college conferences in the country. I mean, we've, I think we have six teams or five teams in the top 25 all year and um, always have national contenders and national champions come out of this conference. So it was a good conference. I feel like Olivet was a, a school that had played for a national championship in the 90s, but had really had a, a run of not very good. I think they had a decade of losing seasons. And so when we got here, we thought there was a lot of potential. And then I think we had one losing season, then we've had all winning seasons since. And actually to the point where we had a undefeated season a couple of years ago and uh, won a conference championship for the first time in 19 years, then made the national players for the first time in 19 years. So, so we've been continuing that. We've had a, you know, some, we had some situations the last year, this year, with our player of the year, who's a quarterback, ended up getting hurt and things like that. And so you just got to keep going. And we've had guys that step up and, and really kept us on track of being a, a really good football team. And so so it's been very, very neat, very good, great administration, school, great conference. And so and we've had just a tremendous amount of great players that have really put us uh, over the top with wins and, and, and been super competitive in a really tough league. And so been a really great place and a really great time coach this friday you're taking on southwestern assemblies of god from waxahachie texas on the road it's going to be a home game for sagu what do you see in the lions and without giving away state secrets right. what's it going to take to win the game well i know that they're going to execute at a high level and i know they got some athletes on offense i know they got a really good running back and good receiver and and uh, their defense is super salty. I think their nose guard is is one of their leading tacklers. I mean, anytime you have a, a guy that's in the middle that's a leading tackler, that's always kind of scary for an offensive coach. <laughs> and uh, usually it's a linebacker, right? But when it's the guy in the middle, uh, so he's he's pretty good. So, no, it's they do a lot of good things on special teams. They're really, uh, you know, aggressive and, and uh, you know, really going to try to stop the run for sure on defense. And then – they, they have a lot of threats on offense. So we, we think it's going to be a really good game. And so, you know, being from different parts of the country, don't really get to see each other. Had an opportunity to play a team in that conference, uh, OUAZ, a couple of years ago for a victory bowl. And that was a great experience for us. And so, but I think they're probably just going to be a good, well-coached, explosive football team. And, and we're going to have to be disciplined and take care of the things that we can control and, uh, for us to have a, a big opportunity here in, in Texas. All right. Well, Olivet Nazarene heading south to Texas to take on Southwestern Assemblies of God in the Victory Bowl. That's a Friday game, an NAIA postseason opportunity for the Tigers and the Lions. Coach Eric Heyman, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Success to you all, and, and uh, have a safe trip. Look forward to seeing you all down in Texas. Thanks, Joy. Appreciate your support and your time.